Margaret. It's a Hi neighbor, welcome back once again to another episode of Jammin' Dudes Neighborhood. My co-host. Mm. Come on in, sit down, have a drink with me, whatever your poison is, stick around and let's talk some prog rock. A little bit of a change, I, I never ever talk about what maybe I'm not feeling in the moment. Um, what album I may be feeling may change according to my mood. And what I was really feeling this week was the brand new Stephen Wilson album, Hand Cannot Erase. You notice I, I got the Blu-ray audio, which came with a free FLAC and MP3 download. So I've been listening to this lately. Normally, I like to talk about new stuff, but yesterday, Stephen Wilson released online, or within the last couple of days anyway, uh, officially released online the short film that accompanies the single Routine from this album, track four. And I was so completely shocked to my core. I didn't think that Stephen Wilson could outdo the raven that refused to sing. And with Routine as a complete piece, which I will include, uh, I'll include the link, so just look below if you want to see the short film. Uh, it, it was such a moving experience to see this film. And I urge you, please bring a box of tissues. It's extremely touching. And I, I just had to talk about how incredible this album is. Originally, this entire concept was inspired by the true life of Joyce Vincent, who was the subject of a 2011 documentary called Dream of a Life. Uh, tragically, this young woman died in her apartment and was not discovered for a little over two years. Um, this album is not about her directly. But inspired by this account and the idea of how detached society has become from one another, Stephen was inspired to write this incredible story of human tragedy. And I just have to say that, in my opinion, right now, there is no one in the music business who can better capture the catharsis of tragedy better than Stephen Wilson. It's absolutely amazing what he's been able to do both with Porcupine Tree and now as a solo artist. And every time you think that he couldn't possibly take it up to another level, he does. So, um, the album opens with uh, Three Years Older. First Regret is the sort of overture, if you will. The intro piece followed by the first track three years older which just amazed me right away um, the mood of the piece shifts and captures a person who is out on their own uh, after some tragic event possibly for the very first time 
Maybe they're leaving a portion of their life behind to start something new. The album starts with so much hope. And it's on this basis that things keep moving forward and we see how we in our lives can move from situation to situation with such fluidity and such clarity and yet how tragic our lives can be at times and yet all the time with hope uh, some of the shorter songs that come out there's the title track and then uh, perfect life which really captures and i really felt this one and well perfect life kind of um, picks up that essence of a lost contact or a lost friendship it's one of the reasons why I do love Facebook so much. There are actually friends that um, I really wish I could get into contact with, but like the character in Perfect Life, sometimes it's so distant, uh, so far back into my childhood, that I just, I remember them, and I remember how close we were, but right now I can't even remember their name. And that's sad, and yet I would love to reconnect with them if I could. And yet, the, and it, it motivates me to do something positive and to reach out to the people that I can find to tell them how much they meant to me. Then we really get to the cornerstone of the album, Routine. You know, when I first heard this album, I, I was focusing too much on the character of Joyce Vincent and what she might be doing after she was moving on. But this is a different character within the framework of the story. And it wasn't until I saw the video a couple of days ago, or yesterday, that it really hit me what the first few lines state that this song is really about. And I won't spoil it for you. I don't want the bomb to drop. I, 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 I would rather have the bomb drop on you after seeing the video. Um, and, and the video is not exact, but it's essentially, it's about loss and how we use routine to cope with our loss at times. And I, the way that he captures that is just stunning. I probably am using the same verbs all over again, but uh, you run out of adjectives at some point. But anyway, uh, moving on through the piece, uh, routine's just amazing. Uh, I, I'm not going to go over it track by track again, but um, by the time we end with Happy Returns, where we know this person is actually writing home to a loved one, and, and that in juxtaposition with the true tale of Joyce Vincent knowing what happened to her, uh, it, it, it's really talks about no matter what happens in our lives next, because I could be gone tomorrow. But at the same time, we reach out to those that we love now because we never know what might happen to us. And that, to me, is the hope behind the tragedy of this story, this piece, this album. That is what the mood of this entire thing presents. Stephen Wilson does what tragedy is supposed to do. Through tragedy... He makes us appreciate that no matter what we might be going through, we should ourselves reach out to try to connect with others before some tragedy may befall us. So, that is my thought for all of you. Please look into the life of Joyce Vincent if you're curious. Look into the documentary Dream of a Life, which was released in 2011. Please, please, please check out the album Hand Cannot Erase by Stephen Wilson, and especially click on the link below to see the short film accompanying the new single, Routine. Thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you next time, and it'll be whatever I feel about, like talking about. So, thank you all again. We'll see you next time on Jammin' Dude's Neighborhood.